everyone! So today I have this tutorial on this really cute Princess Jasmine figurine that I designed myself. I spent a couple hours perfecting it and I hope you guys like it. So let's get started. So first we're going to start off with our gold bands to make Princess Jasmine's shoes. So I'm going to take one gold band first and wrap it around my hook four times. Three, four. And now we are going to take double gold bands. So take double of your gold bands. And we're going to create a single chain using these double bands. So basically slip them onto your hook. Pull these four looped bands on here onto your hook, and you can pull them over one by one if you are having a little bit of trouble. Like that, and then simply put this loose end on your finger back onto the hook like this. And now we are going to create a, a, a link of double neon orange bands double neon orange band, slipping my hook on and then through the loops here, putting the end back onto my hook. Now we are going to go ahead and leave this on our hook while we put on bands for one of Princess Jasmine's legs. So I have my loom here in the square set position and what we're going to do is start at the top of our loom to put our bands on. If you do not know how to put the your rainbow loom in the aligned pin set position, basically you just take the middle pin bar out and then push it out through the back using your fingers and then put, put it back in place where the pins are all aligned together back into your loom. So now we are going to start with the process of putting bands on so that way we can start on one of Princess Jasmine's legs. So first you're going to take your mint or purple color. I will be using mint gold from the Rainbow Loom web store and I'm going to put it right next to my loom so that way I won't be cutting out anything of me grabbing my bands. I'm going to take double bands and put them going vertically on the middle of my loom and now I am going to take two of these bands here and I'm going to stretch them from the bottom pin up to this diagonal pin here and do the same thing on the other side. The whole part of this section of putting bands on is going to be using double bands. And now I'm going to put a middle vertical band. And now what we're going to do is basically do like a triple single. So you're going to use double bands to go vertically. And we're going to do this for two more rows. So you're going to go vertically two more rows. Uh, yeah, two more rows. Now we are going to close up the pant legs, so we are going to go horizontally and horizontally again. And now we are going to take the leg piece that we made on our hook right here and we are going to transfer it to this middle pin on our loom. So I'm basically just going to kind of stretch this band out on my loom here, stick my finger inside so I can transfer it onto my loom here like that. So now we are going to do bands going horizontally across our loom. We are going to double loop them. So what you're going to do is take one band and you're going to double loop it across three pins. So go ahead, wrap it on top of itself like that. And do the same thing for these two rows of pins here. So taking a single band, wrapping it, you can wrap it onto your fingers like that, or you can wrap it across your loom, whichever is easiest for you, but during filming I find that wrapping it onto my hook directly is easier, like that, 
and do it once more onto these pins here. Like that. And now we can start the hooking process onto Jasmine's pant leg. So first I'm going to take my hook and this first part is a little bit tricky because these little the little foot here likes to fall off so kind of hold on to that and now I'm going to grab the top two bands which are basically the double bands here and hook them over to the right like that and now to the left and you can grab them one by one if you'd like and now I'm going to hook these bands that are going vertically that are in the center here and now basically you're going to hook this triple single part here so you're going to start on the left grab the double bands here and make sure you are grabbing the correct bands because this happens to me a lot where I grab the wrong bands here we go put them on those pins and do the same thing to the right side and then keep going vertically for this part, it doesn't really matter in what order you hook the bands. And then I'm going to do the middle part now. And then the left side. And now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and do the middle pin first of this ending part at the top here. Now I'm going to the left and to the right. Now I'm going to hook this one vertical double bands here. Like that. And now we are going to go ahead and take this pant leg off of our loom. Now before you remove this off the loom, please remember that our loose end is right here, so do not remove this end right here and remove everything else. You should have something like this and now we are going to start on making one more pant leg. So this time for the first double bands that we put on we are actually going to go diagonally instead just so that way when we're done making this the pant leg will end up on this pin. And now we are going to use double bands the whole time again and basically do the same process that we did earlier. So left then right and then vertically and then now we are going to do three rows of double bands going horizontal, going vertically. And this would be our last row here. And now we're going to do double bands going horizontally on the left two and the right two. And now we are going to put on our horizontal bands. So remember that they are double looped. So I'm going to start on these top horizontal pins. So I'm going to start on these top horizontal pins here. And double, looped, double loop all of them. like that. And now we are going to make the little foot that goes on this middle pin here. So first you're going to take a single gold band and wrap it around your hook four times. Like that. And now you're going to take double gold bands and loop them inside all of these four quadruple looped bands here. And then reattach the end onto the hook. Like that. Now you're going to take double neon orange bands and do another link and attach the other end onto your hook and now we can transfer this onto our loom. So remember that this little foot goes on the middle pin here so just I like to stretch these out and stick my finger inside so I can transfer it easily onto the pin here 
like that. And now we may begin the hooking process. So first I'm going to stick my hook inside this little foot here and remember that this thing can come off quite easily so hold it down with your other hand and hook the bands that go to the right first. Like that, and now go to the left. And now go upwards. And now basically you can start hooking like you would in a triple single bracelet at this point. So just keep going vertically. And then continue hooking the rest of the bands. And now lastly, we're going to hook this band that goes upwards here. And now we are done and we can remove this from our loom. And now we can take this carefully off of our loom. Remember that the loose end is on this pin, so do not remove any bands on this pin, but remove everything else. So now you should have something like this, and we can now start putting bands on for Jasmine's body and head. So you're first going to start putting on bands from these horizontal pins here, since obviously we can't put bands on these three pins. So I'm going to take double black bands, and all the bands we put on during this part are going to be double. And you're going to go horizontally, and vertically. And now you're going to switch to neon orange bands. Now you're going to take double neon orange bands and go horizontally again and horizontally the other ways for collarbone and now you're going to go vertically in the middle and now we're going to switch back to mint, teal or purple bands depending on which one you are using. Now we're going to start with our bands that we use for the clothing and we're going to stretch our bands from this bottom pin to the top pin using double bands. Same to the other side. And now you're going to put double bands on this row here and the next row. Now we are going to switch to neon orange bands. We are going to do one row of neon orange bands using double bands. And now we are going to take triple bands of the bands that we use for the clothing and you're going to twist it across the pins here in the middle. Now we are going to transfer our pant legs from the top of our loom to the bottom. I'm going to take this pant leg here first and I'm just going to stick my hook inside, pick it up. 
Now, as you can see, we have these two bands here on this side and these two on this side. So what I'm going to do is basically split these across these two pins here. So what I'm going to do is take these first two that are nearest to the end of my hook and going to pick them up using my fingers and put them onto this pin here. Now I'm going to take this end of the bands here and I'm going to put them on this pin here. So the bands that are still on my hook, I'm going to carefully move over to these bottom, this bottom pin here, like that, and push your bands down to make sure that this piece does not fall off. And now we're going to do the same thing to the other pant leg. So basically I'm going to do the same thing, pick this up on my hook, and go to the bottom of my loom. Now remember, we are going to take the top two bands here, that are the double bands, closest to the tip of our hook, and you're going to transfer them to this pin here, and take the other two bands that are left over on your hook and put them on this bottom pin here. Like that push your bands down to make sure that they're all secured and we can now start with putting horizontal bands across our loom. So first I'm going to start out with one mint band and I'm going to double loop it across the very bottom pins here. And do the same thing to these three pins next. like that. Now I'm going to take one neon orange band and double loop it across these three pins here. Going back to my mint gold bands, I am going to basically do two more of these across these two pins here. Actually do one more, sorry. And now you're going to take your hook and you're going to stretch this across to this top pin here. So you get sort of a triangle here in the middle. Now we are going to skip up to her face and I'm going to take one neon orange band, double loop it across here. Like that. And now we are going to make Princess Jasmine's arms. First you are going to take one neon orange band and wrap it around your hook three times and then take double neon orange bands here and you are going to slip your hook onto them and pull the triple loop band onto these double bands here. Slip the other end back onto your hook like that and now we are going to make one more link of double neon orange bands. Put them on your hook and then slide through and attach the other end onto your hook, like that. Next, we are going to take double mint bands, like this, and we are going to do one link of them using double bands. So slip these through your bands here and reattach the bands onto your hook. And now we are going to do one more link of double neon orange bands. and then we can go ahead and put this on our loom. So I am here where um, her neck is and we're going to put this on the left pin first. So we're going to go ahead and stretch these bands out a little bit, stick your finger inside, transfer them to this pin here. Now we are going to go ahead and make one more arm to put onto this right side here. First you're going to take one neon orange band again and wrap it around your hook three times. And now you are going to take double neon orange bands and make two links of double neon orange. So here is my first link and my second link. Now I am going to take double mint bands and do a link. And now we are going to do one last link of double neon orange bands. Like that. And now we are going to transfer this onto our loom. You may want to pause here if I have gone too fast during this segment. 
So now we are going to put this on the right side of Jasmine's body. So I am going to slip my finger into the little loose bands on our hook and transfer them like that. And you have now completed part one of this tutorial. Please click on the link down in the description box to proceed to part two of this Princess Jasmine figurine tutorial.